I am Dr. Kelly Best Davis, a medical practitioner, and something great is happening in this place. Something astounding, something baffling, something cheering, wonderful. Today I have with me Sister Gilbert Fever. She has had Adam three years peptic ulcer disease, peptic ulcer disease for three years, and right-sided hemiparesis. Somebody touched her. And then the hand became weak. But tonight, the Lord touched her. She came in with the pain. The pain is gone. The ulcer pain is gone. And the weakness of the hand disappeared. We shall hear from her now. My name is Giva Sebo from Campus Fellowship 58. I want to thank God for what God has done in my life. Actually, I've been doing to starvation. I've developed um, deep ulcer. And I noticed it. And it has been for three years. And God just healed me tonight. Since 3 o'clock this afternoon, I have not eaten, and I came here. And I just wanted to test myself, and I noticed that the ulcer pain that I used to have, have gone. And I want to also thank God for how God delivered me. I used to have sharp pain in my head. Anytime I go to the exam hall, I will forget everything. When it's 30 minutes to submit the paper, that's when I'll remember everything to write. And I was having that sharp pain when I came here tonight, but tonight God delivered me. And I was having, I used to have short of blood sometimes. It's to, it, it used to come and go. But tonight I noticed that the, 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 um, the, I, used, I just noticed that that short of blood came tonight. But after the ministration of the man of God, I felt relieved. That's why I came here to testify. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Testify. Amen. Praise the Lord. I have with me here Emmanuel Ikpilifu. Since 2017, he has been suffering from inguinous cotal anemia. But God has done the work tonight. No oppression is healed now. You shall hear from him now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, I'm happy today. Uh, I was in prison and I slept for ground for years. So I never come up. I say, God help me. I don't have money. And as I give my life to Christ today, Hold and as the man of God pray, for Jesus. I get my healings in the mighty name of Jesus. So that is what God do for me. And he will do for you too. In the name of Jesus Christ. He received Jesus Christ and the Hania disappeared. Jesus cannot live in a sick body. Brethren, we have here William. Yes, something is happening over there. Something is happening over there. Bring the person. Bring him, bring him, bring him, bring her. Brethren, we have here Williams Christian, a student from Tuam Brass. He, is an, he has been an epileptic patient, and um, even right here, he had the um, episode of the attack. But as the man of God was praying tonight, he just stood up from that attack. And he was asking himself, where I am? Where am I? Where am I? The Lord did a miracle. We shall hear from him. Praise the Lord. 
My name is Kumasan uh, Christian, and my English name is uh, Williams. I'm from Tuan Bras. Before I came to this program, I told my house people that I'm coming for this program because they said that I, shall, I will come and I uh, receive my own blessing. But yes, something is happening down there. Somebody, one, one, my pastor invited me to this program. I don't come alone. He invited me and said, I should, I should follow you. So uh, in, when I come, the overseer was talking something about any part, anything that is stopping our life. Today will be the final day, and they said we should put our uh, our hands in any uh, in any angle because when the attack comes, sometimes it will fall from my back to my head. I will fall down. From there, I will be shaking. Sometimes my younger brother that will take me home. So he said I should follow into this program, and to the glory of God, when the when the overseer was. Uh, talking about problems, and I tossed my back. I didn't know how I fall. I fell down on the ground. From there, I start the attack. Now come, and I don't know, but you are delivered. What, yes, you are what delivered. I see, the whole everybody night. say he is, he is delivered. Put your hands together for Jesus. For Jesus, there will be miracle galore tomorrow. Miracle galore. Bring those people that you don't consider these ones to be healable in the hospital. Bring them. Bring them. The power will touch them in Jesus' name. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. I present to you Sister Eberi Wongu. She is a teacher. She has been having um, hemorrhoids since the past two weeks and um, with severe pains for tonight. Delivered and healed. Amen. Please listen to her. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to give God all the glory for what he's done for me this night. I was free um, from five problems last, last, two, last two weeks. Very pain. When we are child, when people are shouting hallelujah, I couldn't shout hallelujah. But immediately the man of God prayed fresh. The final uh, everything amen. was done. The I was final free, amen. Free, free, nothing the pain final the amen. In my life. And also and I it will that come all to the pain that I have in my house, everything God has took everything to me this night. In Jesus' name. Thank Put you, Jesus. Amen. We shall take, shall take a testimony from online. Online, please. Great things are happening online. The power of God, redemptive power of God, full redemption, touching lives. Let's give you some of the testimonies coming from the social media. It is indeed an unlimited celebration of redemption online, as we have this one coming from Ola Agwola from YouTube. It says that he's had this neck pain since March 6, which has defiled medical interventions. Several injections and tablets, no result. But tonight, again, tonight, the redemption power touched her, and now... He is, she is completely healed in Jesus' name. Ngozi Eboreme on YouTube sent this one. She, she wrote, ever since Asu went on strike, I've had this burden of depression and frustration. But she said, after the prayers of the man of God tonight, her burden became lifted. She gave her life to Christ and has experienced total deliverance. Praise the Lord. From YouTube, we have Ifeolua Akinyemi who says, 
that she's had these big leaf notes on the two sides of his neck. But tonight, the redemptive power of God traveling all the way to her where she was, she says, after the prayer of the man of God, again, something about her final amen, the leaf notes disappear, and now she is free. From the JS Facebook page, Mary said this. She wrote, I give glory to God for healing my daughter perfectly. My daughter had been sick for the past three days without eating. Immediately after that final amen, she tested her daughter and her daughter has fully recovered and even is right now eating and playing. She says, blessed be the name of the Lord and thank you to the man of God. On the GS Facebook page, we have this one coming from Eugene Azeke, who says he's had the issue of Bell's palsy for quite a long time now. He's not been enjoying himself, but tonight, because we are celebrating redemption, he got his full redemption tonight, and now he's healed of Bell's palsy. Praise the Lord. Still from the GS Facebook page, it is amazing what God is doing. David A. Jagba wrote, my kidney had issues and I have been going for dialysis. But tonight, God has given me brand new kidneys because I can feel total healing. He will go and do the test and we will bring the results by the grace of God. We now return to the state overseer. Now you can see a worker there. Something is happening right there. Something is happening right there. Hold your hands together for Jesus. Listen, before the testimony, all those who gave their lives to Christ tonight, your, the lunch hour with Christ, with Jesus, tomorrow by 3 p.m. will be taking place here in the university auditorium. So as you come in here, you will see the university auditorium. This way, the left-hand side here, just ask about the auditorium. You'll be led to that place. There will be a sign to show the place. God bless you. The testimony now. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I present to you Sanki Ovenkumo. Since last year, he's been having right upper limb pain. But tonight, the miracle took place and he's totally healed. Let's hear from him. Church, hallelujah. My name is Sanki Bitinkila Ovenkumo. I've come to give the God all the glory. Through the administration of the choir, that whatever we ask, we will receive, uh, if we, if we believe. So, as they were singing, I was following them up. So, the man of God was saying that we should not go that Whatever we believe, we will get our testimony. So, we should do what we cannot do before. So, as I was doing it, I was feeling a sharp pain at my right hand side. But I could not feel the pain any longer. I've come to thank the Lord Almighty. And it's gone forever. Okay, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone forever. is here. Power. Power. Amen. The next testimony. Praise the Lord. I present Elder Alfred Sample. He has been having a chronic lumbar spondylosis, lower back pain for nine years. Tonight, tonight, he couldn't bend before, but tonight, the miracle took place. We shall hear from him. Praise the Lord. For the past nine years, my name is Sam Paul Alfred. For the past nine years, I've been having excruciating pain in my waist. I came believing to this arena, and as the prayers were going, going on, as prayer was being said, I checked myself, I could bend, waist, and I found out that the pain is no more there. He Praise the Lord. Believing. He came believing and the faith has given him soundness. 
Can you bend yourself? Can you say that? Bend again. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 jump. This is fantastic. Amen. Power is here. Everybody shout, power. Shout it again, power. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Power is in that name. Amen. The next testifier now. Praise the Lord. I present to you Sister Ruth Freeman. Since she gave birth to her last child in 2020, she had been having lumbar spondylosis. Lower back pain. Very excruciating. But after the prayer of the man of God tonight, she is free. Praise the Lord. I'm Sister Ruth. I'm here to testify what the Lord has done for me. Ever since I gave birth to my child, I have this pain. Although they said I, will, I shall not burn that child. So I said I will deliver this child without operating this child. I will deliver. The Bible said I shall deliver like the Hebrew man. So during the time of deliver, I went into the labor room with the nurse. We were there, although it was very difficult. So we prayed. So before, I didn't even push. The child came out. So since then, I cannot, I cannot bend. No, I cannot sit well. This is my back, back, the back bone. It, 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 as if it's no longer there. But I felt a heavy thing on my back. Since then, the thing transferred to this, my and my chest. I cannot eat well. Any food I eat, it will as if I want to die. But this night, I've been suffering from that day till now. But this night, I believe after the prayer of the man of God and everything that I was feeling, the pain that I cannot sit, what I cannot do, everything disappeared just like that. Church, praise the Lord! About that final amen. Sister, bend yourself. Bend, bend. Sister, bend yourself. Say, she didn't bend before. Bend, bend. Aha. Uh -huh. Bend. Yes, bend. Amen. Checking yourself because the power is still there. The power is still there. Tomorrow will be greater than today. Shout amen. The Praise day. the Lord. One year old left sided coastal chondritis is bowing to the name of Jesus. Here is Sister Silvanus Areso. And she had been having that pain at that rib cage, but tonight the miracle has happened and she's free. Praise the Lord. I used to have this pain and I've prayed, I've cried, I've done all that I could. And I told God that since this program is coming up, if I can but step my leg into this program, every other thing that I'm hoping for and expecting from God will come to pass. The devil tried to stop me, but I made my effort to come here. And to the glory of God, I am healed in Jesus' name. You are healed. We now go online. We go online for testimonies. We have great testimonies still coming in online. And this one is a big name. But it bowed to the redemptive power of God, all the way from Canada. That is just it, no matter how big it is. This problem calls itself rheumatoid arthritis. Can you imagine? To understand the meaning of that, it's a chronic inflammatory disorder affecting many joints. In fact, in severe cases, it attacks the internal organs. And this brother, Brother Olamide from Canada, Edmonton precisely, He's been having this issue since 2019. Remember, the man of God just mentioned the testimony from the great miracle explosion. 
right in Lagos. This brother is referring back to the great miracle explosion again. By this, this brother, according to his writing, he's had this issue since 2019, and he's been going to see specialists, and he was taking medications weekly and spending money. According to the, um, the, 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 the person taking care of him, he was told that this problem had no solution. He had to continue treating it like that. But to the glory of the Lord, during the December 20, 2021 Great Miracle Explosion Crusade, he decided to take all these pains to God in faith. And to the glory of God, the man of God specifically mentioned his problem. And I tell you, this is March 2022. Till now, he has taken no injections. That problem is gone and gone forever. See what the Lord has done. Amen. And now we'll take you to a location in South South Nigeria. This is Victoria Iyama from Bini City. My testimony goes like this. Last year, June, I began to feel stomach pain. We now call a doctor friend. He examined me. He said I have cancer and liver problem. I said that one is not for me. Then begin, the, the thing begins started. In Crusade, uh, January, total freedom from uh, Ibadan. When I come to the state, he has not mentioned my case. Liver problem, you are here. Kidney problem, you are here. That is why I received my healing. I begin to feel it all over my body. Since then, no problem again. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together. And we have Matthew Dalavila, who got healed from migraine. This migraine was from calcium deposits, brain malformation at the back of his head and his skin. After the final amen, migraine bowed to the name of jesus to god be the glory as we return to the state of Assyria. the next testifier now praise the lord here we have with me i have with me christian richards from brass the lord god almighty touched him he had been having what we call puritic perinae total itching around the perennial region for six months. But at Taraba Global Crusade, the Lord healed him, and since then, he's been free. Hear Hallelujah. Him. My name is Christian Richard. We came all the way from Brass Island. We entered yesterday, and I promised God at the Taraba State Global Crusade that I will come and give all the glory to God in this Bayasa Crusade. So as I was there, when the GS finished the message, and the pastor said we should check ourselves, a spirit in me don't do me that says, ah, you said this thing then, you should come out and give. If not, if you don't give, you and your God will be in trouble. I said, no, I can't be in trouble with my God. So I decided to come out to say, let all the glory and honor be to God in Jesus' precious name. Here we have with me um, Bro Samson Obasi, for he, he has been having what we call bilateral inguinoscrotal hernia diagnosed in the hospital and was supposed to have a surgery, but at Divine Touch Crusade at Enugu, the Lord God Almighty touched him and bilateral inguinoscrotal hernia disappeared. Since then till now, he is free. Praise the Lord. Brethren, praise the Lord. My name is Brother Samson Obasi. I'm worshiping for Swalewan District, Abo O Group, Bayasa State of Nigeria. My testimony goes like this. Last year, when the demolish where we are selling the Swale Market, and I started packing my goods for my house where I'm living for Swale. 
So every morning that I'm come to market, I will cut small and put for wheelbarrow and started pushing it to swallow the market. After uh, uh, one month, getting two months, for that wheelbarrow that I'm pushing, I started to see something from my two sides. Something that is come up swelling from my two sides. One settled time, the thing come to me, it, it just called me as a pain. And this pain was holding me severely in the sense that I can't walk, I can't do anything. So tell us, so, how did they walk? How did the miracle take place now? So after when the thing hold me now, and I go to uh, one clinic at uh, Pansha, Kensmai Clinic at Pansha. So as I get there now, the man said I should register 3,000. And I paid 3,000. Then he said that I should operate the, he, he, he's going to operate the thing. So now he, tell, he now tell me that I will give him 150,000. And I offer him 80,000. So after set and done, when, and that time was the time of divine crusade, all at the Enugu. So I lay my hands for the tutu side. And from that time, everything was disappeared. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Six years old, deafness and dumbness disappearing. This is Jeremiah Gibson, a six-year-old child. This is his aunt. And uh, he came here with a challenge. But the Lord God touched him tonight. And he can hear now. He can speak now. You will hear the aunt speak. Praise the Lord. This is my nephew, my late brother's son. His dad could not speak actually before he died. And then we experienced the same thing with him. But during today's um, prayer, we mentioned his name and he just turned. Honestly, before now, he could not do that. Unless you shout so well, that's when he would just, you know, manage to turn. But now, even at far proximity, he turns. And then we tested him with one, two, three. And he responded. Yes. Test it now. We're going to test, test you now. now. Could you give it to Mike? Say, say what Jerry you Maya. want. One. Say one. Mm. Two. Mm. Three. Mm. Put your hands together. Tomorrow, by 5 p.m., that's when we are starting tomorrow. And I want to tell you, tomorrow will be greater than today. And uh, I want to say that all our very important personalities, we shall recognize you tomorrow if we have not done so. And uh, we want to also tell you that as you are coming tomorrow, Come with many others who have problems, and the Lord will not fail to visit them. Ministers of the gospel, don't forget, quarter to seven tomorrow morning. Ministers, Christian workers, professionals, our pastor will be here waiting for you to give you this outpouring of the key of soccer.